Well, hello there, stranger. It's been a minute, actually. It's been four, five, six months since I've worked on the bucket or even uploaded here on Built Not Bought. But with that said, I've got some great news, especially if you plan on attending Wicked Big Meat, Boxer Fest, Big Northwest, Subi Fest, because the bucket is going on tour. In today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning her up, going over some of my favorite bits, and even addressing some of the elephants in the room. So let's clean her up because the truck's on the way and I still gotta say my goodbyes. Yes, I wash the car with dish soap and sometimes degreaser because I don't want any wax in the primer. Well, what was 25 seconds for you guys was about two and a half hours for me cleaning the bucket. I'm spent, but let's start with the motor since I have the hood up. One of my favorite things about the motor is the motor. It's a 2.5 rally spec built short block with Metro Performance built heads. And I went with this Grim Speed black top mount that actually came directly off our showroom floor. So thank you. KW two way coilovers and the top it off the engine bay has been painted STI pearl white with what I like to call WRB flake. And last but not least, my eye wire wire harness. Now let's talk about the exterior. Okay, before we get started with the exterior, let's address the matte white elephant in the room. Yeah, I know the bucket's been in primer for almost two years now, but the fact that I'm gonna paint it matte pearl white on the outside and, and it looks so good matte white now, it's just really hard for me to take the time right now, as busy as I am, to just pull the car completely apart, to spray it so it can look exactly like it does now. Yeah, it's got some sand marks. Yeah, it needs blocking still. The bucket still has some love that it needs. First thing with the exterior is this ABW 60 millimeter wide WRC kit. I freaking love this kit. I'm a big fan of these Moret headlights. This lower rally lip that I collabed with Rock Blocks is definitely one of my favorite things on the bucket. Carbon fiber WRC mirrors. This P2000 wing is by far my favorite wing for a GC. I love how it protrudes out the back of the car. I love that feature. And I got this wing from Yuri Antonenko from Russia. Beautiful piece. Thanks, Yuri. And I think this 1552 chicane wheel is a great look finishing off the exterior. We're gonna go to the trunk where I relocated my battery because this is by far one of the best modifications that you can do to anybody's car. And that's this anti-gravity restart technology battery. It is freaking a lifesaver. There's so many times that I go to start my car and it's just dead from sitting. Hit that button, cranks right over like that. And it's held down by this Melee battery now. One of the best upgrades you can do to any vehicle. All right, so off onto the interior. Well, first thing I notice is the damn green jams. That's a downer. That's a big downer. Once you get past the jams, the first thing you notice on the interior are these Recaro Sportster GT seats. They seriously are amazing. I freaking love these seats. And they're like art. They're just beautiful to look at. To cut down on the glare, 
I did the suede wrap dash. Definitely recommend that. Flocking, eh, it's good for race cars, but for dailies, it just wears away. I know I'm gonna have a lot of favorite features on the bucket, but this STI Group N handbrake is definitely a top three. And one of the things that really completes the interior of the bucket is the six over crest rear seat deletes, door cards, and panels, because they knocked it out of the park. I had a little influence on the rear seat deletes, these small pockets, and just the overall look, because I really liked the Porsche GT3 and how it came from the factory with that racy look, but it did not have that race car interior. It still had like a full, real comfortable looking interior that was just real easy on the eye. And I feel like I really captured that with the bucket. Well, that's it. I think I hit all the marks everything that kind of stands out to me. If you have any questions about anything that I didn't mention that you saw, hit me up in the comments. They're gonna be calling me soon to come pick up the bucket. Now we play the waiting game. Well, it's 7.05 p.m. on Monday evening now, and no call from the driver. So I'm a little sketched out because Wicked Big Meat is Sunday. But with that being said, last night I did have some time to at least finish a couple things on the bucket. And I was able to put this smooth gas filler lid on finally. It's been sitting in my garage and I finally got around to putting it on. And I also added finally these Rock Blocks mud flaps. So although the bucket's not in paint, it actually looks pretty damn close to being finished and I'm quite happy with it overall. Now we're just waiting for the driver, which got me to thinking. I'm not gonna have the bucket for a few months. So what do you say about having a little spirited send off on my favorite windy twisty road? <laughs> now we're gonna trade this GoPro for that GoPro. I'm just gonna put this in my little pocket in the back. I'd say that was a proper send off for the bucket. And yeah, it's 8.07 on Monday and still no call from the driver. So I know I'll see you in a few days at Wicked Big Meat. As far as the bucket goes, wish us luck. Oh man, brutal.